Well, over in KwaZulu-Natal, the MEC for Education, Kwasi Mshengu, is set to monitor the return of pupils in Phoenix. The area was a flashpoint of racial tensions during the violence. Well, for the latest on the MEC's visit, we're joined by our reporter, Letiwe Mbluli. Letiwe, thank you so much uh, for being on the ground for us. Have racial tensions in the area gone down a notch slightly? Well, good morning. At the moment, we are still in Ellington a Secondary School here in Phoenix. And what I can say about what is happening currently with the MEC visiting the school and other schools around Phoenix is that we've seen a lot of police visibility, um, tensions, racial tensions that followed the unrest that took place in the province and especially in the city of Durban. Um, we are still experiencing um, a bit of tension, but this is why the MEC for Education Education in the province has visited the Phoenix area because it is a hotspot area. Just making sure that um, the the school reopening goes smoothly. While speaking to him earlier, he did mention that um, they are very worried about security, which is why they have increased police visibility in the area. A lot of parents are also uncertain whether they should send their children back to school amid the unrest in the province. But um, at the moment, the school has said that they will be reopening and just basically monitoring what the situation is like. But at the moment, I'm joined by Natu, um, Lerato Siwela from Natu. Good morning. Lerato, firstly, you are here just to monitor along with the MEC the reopening of schools in the province, especially here in Phoenix. Are you happy with what you're seeing happening at the moment? Um, firstly, yes, as Unatu, I am very much happy because I saw there were police outside, there were soldiers outside. So, yes, security is quite tough. Yes. We also spoke about the unrest that took place across the province just two weeks ago. Phoenix was one of the hotspot areas. There were a, a number of people that were killed during the unrest. And now parents are unsure whether it's safe to bring their kids back to school. Also, teachers are also feeling unsafe. As a union, what are your thoughts on that? Firstly, we as the National Teachers Union believe in safety for our learners. We believe in safety for our teachers. So we believe that the Department of Education has made plans for the safety of our teachers and to, together with our learners. Hence, I said that we, we saw soldiers, we saw policemen. So I think, yes, um, it will be safe. It is safe for learners and teachers to come to school because that we have the defense force um, deployed in this area. Yes. We also spoke about vaccinations. Um, you were telling me about some of the members that you have as NATO not wanting to vaccinate because of their religious um, beliefs. Please just elaborate more on that. Okay, we as the Nat National Teachers Union, we believe that uh, uh, teachers should vaccinate. However, we have some teachers that uh, did not take the, the vaccine because of their religious um, and personal reasons. Uh, so we believe that they should not be forced. They should not be forced because it's their rights. They should not be forced. Their rights should not be violated. Yes. And lastly, Lerato, um, there were also other schools that were vandalized during the unrest mm. in the province. Um, the MEC says that those schools have been catered for um, and also there is police vis visibility in those areas. Have you seen that as NATO? Uh, as the National Teachers uh, Union, um, we have been monitoring some schools. We have been doing some monitoring and we do believe that those schools are, are now safe for children and teachers to go. However, we stress, the National Teachers Union stresses that uh, the s safety of learners together with teachers is very, very vital. So uh, we do, we, uh, uh, before the looting, we do have the pandemic, the coronavirus, which the teachers and learners should be safe, like following the COVID-19 protocols and stuff. Yes. Thank you so much. Thank you. Well, there you have it. Some of the unions that are present here in Phoenix today just basically stressing on the safety of learners and also teachers. They're also worried about some teachers um, not wanting to take the vaccine, but they are saying that um, they are stressing that 
each and every person or each and every teacher does take the vaccine um, because of safety reasons. There's also another school that we will be visiting shortly just to basically monitor how the process of opening that school is going. We know that Phoenix was a very hot, a hot spot area during two weeks ago when the unrest took place. So it is very vital for the education department in the province to focus on this area and see if teachers and also learners are safe during this time. Batiwe, we'll uh, probably cross back to you at some stage in the morning. If you do get an opportunity to ask at your next school uh, whether there'll be any psychological counselling or trauma counselling uh, for any of the pupils in Phoenix, they've gone through a lot. Well, what I can say at the moment here at this school in Earlington Secondary School, there is um, a psychologist that is present along with the government coming here to, to basically address the learners. The MEC has addressed learners um, about what took place, telling them that they should be uniting and basically not seeing any race, race amongst each other. Um, we will be speaking to also this, the school psychologist just to find out how these learners will be um, basically performing that reuniting um, spirit and also just finding out if they will be taken care of because there's a lot of um, unrest that took place and they did um, witness some of it. Thank you so much, Letiwem Dluli, who's in Phoenix at the reopening of schools there.